Imagine you're exploring Salem, Massachusetts one fine October evening, enjoying the sights of the town. As you explore, you keep hearing laughter, though, like a giggle from a child. Suddenly, a small green child appears in front of you and grins. It's time to cut the sightseeing short, for you, my friend, just came across a Chippy Salem's Witch. Chippy Salem Witch Scholars at Quimley's are not sure when the first Chippy Witch appeared, but since the shattering of the veil, they have started to appear more frequently. Weighing 32 kilograms, or 70 pounds, and with a height of 0.7 meters, or 2 feet 2 inches, these small beasties can still pack a punch. It's theorized that the Chippy Salem Witch can be tied back to the Salem Witch Trials in 1692. Between February 1692 and May 1693, over 200 people were accused of witchcraft. Of those 200 accused, 30 people were found guilty and 19 were executed by hanging. One of the first women accused was named Sarah Good. She was a destitute mother who was accused of witchcraft because of her reputation. She was charged with rejecting Puritan ideals of self-control and discipline. During Sarah's trial, her daughter, Dorothy Good, who was only four years old, had to testify against her mother. Sarah Good went on to be one of the first women executed of witchcraft in North America, some of it based on Dorothy's own testimony. It is believed that Dorothy could have been the first of the Chibi Salem witches. See, unknown until recently, Indrid Cold was actually the one manipulating people in Salem back in 1692. Indrid's use of dark magic caused the women to behave strangely and develop abnormal abilities. Some scholars say that this was the first time a caster contracted a human since the veil had been put in place. Indrid using his immense power tormented the entire area of Salem. It could have been this magical influence that changed Dorothy, or it could have been the sudden and tragic loss of her mother that caused the transformation as well. Since the veil shattered, more chibi witches have appeared, a testament to the growing dark forces in Cryptid Nation. My advice to you, my fellow casters, is do not be fooled by the small stature of this chibi beastie. They can trace their lineage back to powerful casters from the days of old. Your best bet is to leave carefully, as you don't want to be overrun if the whole coven comes to find the little one.